Hey, welcome to episode 47. I'm just at the old whaling station in Albany. Just having a look at the Shane's Four. Built 1948, Norway. There's the gangway though. Maybe the captain would walk down to get to the harpoon gun. on the Shane's Four whaling ship. Crow's nest up there. I'm just up near the bridge. Sign says walk down the stairs backwards. So here up there. Made it. Engine room. I think they used to bring the whales up here on this platform. There should be some photos inside, if I remember. This is all Frenchman's Bay, Albany's through here. Thanks. That was the whale video. Yeah, they've used this tank. It shows a bit of the history of the people that worked here. As you spiral up to the top. 
bit of an observation deck up here. Even with the cloud, you get the great colour of the water. Look at that. I actually just want to jump in with a swim. By the mid 70s, Albany's whaling industry supplied up to 60% of the world's whale oil. So they built this shark cage in case they needed to make repairs to the pipeline that uh, transfer the whale oil out to the ships. And this is where it all happened, called the Flensing Deck. This is where they'd bring them up out of the water by that winch. And once they were cut up, they'd bring them up here by that winch. Graphic content. This area details colour photographs of whale processing. Yeah, it's pretty graphic. I don't think I'll concentrate too much on that. Cutting up deck. This is a warm room. This is where the guys working outside could come in and get warm and rest. Into the it's like a cooking area now. These are those big tanks with those holes to come from. It says here, unpleasant place to work. It's hot, with ovens going, very noisy, no safety earmuffs. Cooking three and a half hours, settling one hour. And then get whale oil, whale meal, 75% protein for stock feed, and pellets for fertilizer. So right underneath the cutting up deck. And there's the massive tanks right underneath the the portholes here. The wood fired boilers. There's a tow boat built in nineteen eighteen. We used to get a lot of sharks here taking chunks out of the whales. So we used to catch quite a few of them. Caught 1975 at the whaling station. McBride's hut came out from America in 1869 to work in the whaling industry. This is originally built at, I think it said Good Beach. It's been relocated here. Here's Australia's last whaling station, closed in 1978. Yeah, when all the uh, killing whales was 
are starting to become not so wanted. And uh, yeah, I think it's probably the most intact whaling station in the world as a museum. Because a lot of this was pretty much left here when they closed in 1978. And they got the uh, skeleton of a sperm whale just in here. This is one of the last sperm whales taken in November 1978. Oh, look at the size of this one. Pygmy blue whale. Oh, blue whale. So the pygmy blue whale was had a bigger head, smaller body than a blue whale and a shorter tail. Wow, it's massive. This shed is where they used to store the something that's called the whale solubles, fertilizer. And, and the, I think that's a sperm whale tooth. So whales are put into two groups, baleen and toothed. And humpback whales are baleen, without any teeth. Baleen is made from keratin, which is the same as the fingernails that we have. Let's kill a whale. I'm sure glad they stopped killing the whales. Spent hours here. It's coming up into the boiler house. So pretty much everything's been uh, left here. So a steam engine from from the uh, Shane's three. They actually still run this. So the engines from that one, Shane's three, and that's Shane's four, the one outside. Pump house. So this is sonar that the Shane's Whaling Company started using in 1971. So using sonar to find the whales.
This is the solubles processing section. So they made use of everything from the whale. So they made fertilized pesticide, meal, all from this area here. I think they called it glue water. And uh, yeah, used every part of the whale. This is a replica chase boat built in 2000 by uh, Great Southern College students. So this was a tripod. This is what they used to do for rendering down the blubber in the 19th century. There's a whole lot of old traditional uh, whale hunting equipment. Some old paintings as well. How they used to do it is an old model chase boat. Yeah, gee, didn't that look dangerous? So the old Shane's Fall was brought here in 1981 and they started building its permanent site here. Thanks for watching that episode at the old whaling station here at Albany. Sure glad they've stopped whaling now. Don't forget to press the thumbs up if you like that and press the uh, notification button and subscribe button. Welcome to all the new subscribers and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.